Today, we're going to review the top homeschool math curriculum options for elementary school. We've got a lot of math curriculums to look at, so let's get right into it. First on our list is a popular mastery-based math curriculum called Math UC. This company has math curriculum options for kids in pre-K all the way through calculus. So if you start this math curriculum in the elementary years, you could end up using this as your child's entire homeschool math curriculum all the way through high school. The Math UC program can be purchased as a set for each grade level, and each set includes an instruction manual, student workbook, and video lessons either on DVD or streaming online. You'll also get a test booklet and an integer block set with most of the elementary level sets. The instruction manuals are detailed and help parents to easily teach the lessons, especially if you use them along with the videos. The student workbooks include some fun exercises, although I do wish they were in color. If you're not sure which level to start with, you can view the scope and sequence for each level on their website. They also have a placement tool that you can use to help you decide. This seems like a really solid choice for an elementary math curriculum, and it comes highly recommended from a lot of homeschool families. But for now, let's move on to the next math curriculum on our list. Another popular mastery-based homeschool math curriculum for grades 1 through 8 is from Math Mammoth. You'll get a complete math curriculum for each grade level, including student workbooks, tests, and more. And there are also free online videos available that match up with the books. The Math Mammoth curriculum does not come with a separate parent manual. It's designed to be self-teaching, so all of the explanations are in the student workbooks. If you pair that with the videos, then there shouldn't be much prep or teaching needed from the parents. This homeschool math curriculum focuses on conceptual understanding, mental math, and number sense, and teaches one concept at a time. You can view samples from the workbooks on their website to get an idea of what they look like. Keep in mind that these are all PDFs and not printed books. However, you can purchase printed versions of the books in either black and white or color if you order them from Rainbow Resource Center. If you're not sure which level to start with, there are also placement tests that you can download. The next elementary math curriculum on our list is actually the one that I use in our homeschool, both for my five-year-old twins and my almost 11-year-old daughter. It's called Dimensions, and it's another mastery-based math curriculum based on the Singapore math method. With Dimensions, you have the option to include a home instructor's guide, textbook, and workbook for each level. And if you want the option to add instructional videos to go along with the textbooks, they do have that available for grades 1 through 6. The workbooks are colorful and straightforward, teaching one concept at a time. And I know it shouldn't matter, but the colorful workbooks were a selling point for me. And I also love that you can write in the textbook. You can view sample pages and the scope and sequence for each grade level on their website. There are also placement tests, which can be super helpful when switching to this curriculum. We actually switched from Horizons to Dimensions and we had to go back a little bit because some of the concepts that had already been covered in Dimensions were not covered in Horizons. With the twins, we're using this right from the start, so we won't have to worry about that. Dimensions is designed to be a robust homeschool math curriculum, covering the math concepts in more depth than they would be covered in a typical public school curriculum. If your child really struggles with math, you might want to try primary math instead, which is from the same company, but it's different than Dimensions. They have a guide on their website to help you decide which of their curriculums would be best for your family. And I also have a video on my channel going over all the options in more detail. I've left that link for you in the video description below so you can check it out. Next is another popular homeschool math curriculum that we also use in my home called Life of Fred. You may have heard of this curriculum and been wondering about it because it does seem very different than what you would normally think of as a math curriculum. To me, it's more of a storybook about math than it is a math curriculum. But some homeschool families do use this as their main math curriculum. 
We use it as a supplement and just to give my older daughter a more real world view of math. I also like that it introduces concepts like algebra very early on. So I'm hoping that that will help when we get to the harder math later on. Life of Fred does mention God somewhat throughout the curriculum. So just keep that in mind if you're looking for something that is strictly secular. I also think it may be a difficult curriculum to switch to. You kind of have to start at the beginning to follow along with the story as it does tend to continue on through each book. My daughter is now on the sixth book, I think, and she's really into the story. So I assume that we're going to keep going with it. I'm not really sure if it's actually helping her with math, but she doesn't really like reading. So we're going to keep it for reading practice, at least because she actually does like reading this story. The books are definitely not babyish at all in the way that they're written. So if you wanted to start this with an older kid, you still probably would be fine starting at the beginning. I think my daughter was about seven when we started with the first book. The books are also pretty short, so you can do several in one year. If your child is 10 or older and has a strong grasp of the basics, then you can probably start with the fractions book. I'm looking forward to when we get there, but I'm just not sure if we should skip over the rest of the books in between. So we'll see how that goes. Next on our list is a popular tried and true homeschool math curriculum that a lot of homeschool graduates gripe about called Saxon. I do not think that this one is going to be a favorite among students, but if you can get your child to do it, then it might be a good homeschool math curriculum, especially if high scores on standardized tests is something that is important to you. Just be prepared for a lot of parent involvement in the earlier grades as it does use a lot of manipulatives. They do include scripted lesson plans to help make teaching easier for you. And if you stick with it after third grade, students will begin to be able to work more independently. Unlike the other homeschool math curriculums that we've covered so far, Saxon Math uses a spiral learning approach. So there's going to be a lot of review and repetition, which honestly is something that I kind of miss having, but there might be a little too much of that in this curriculum. It just really depends on the student. With Saxon Math, you'll need to get the student workbooks as well as the teacher's guide, which will include the lesson plans and detailed instructions on how to teach each concept. Of course, you may be able to do without the teacher's guide if you feel comfortable teaching math. There's also a supplemental book called The Meeting Book, which you may find you don't really need. And of course, for the elementary grades, you will need to make sure you have all the necessary manipulatives. The problem with Saxon, from what I've heard, is that it just doesn't really explain the math. So you need someone to teach it or you need to find videos to accompany it. This is more of a problem in the later years when it's supposed to be more hands-off for parents. There are some different options out there that you can look into where some people have actually created their own videos based on the Saxon math textbooks but you're not gonna be able to purchase a DVD or a streaming video service that goes along with the program the way that you can with some of the other math curriculums that we've covered. Next on our list is another popular math curriculum that many homeschool families swear by, especially for the first years of learning math. It's called Right Start Math, and it is definitely a very unique curriculum. They use a special abacus that is supposed to help kids learn to visualize math quantities rather than just relying on counting. It's designed to help kids build a strong foundation in number sense, and it also focuses on problem solving and place value early on. It's hard to find a negative review for Right Start Math. From what I can see, the biggest complaint that people have is about the cost. And it is true, if you're new to this program, you will need to buy the manipulatives kit, which is more than $200. But it is possible that you could piece this together yourself and save a bit of money. You will still need the lesson book and worksheet books for each level. And if you buy these separately, they are still a bit expensive. They have a placement test on their website if you aren't sure where to start, but it's not very detailed. Unless your child already knows their addition facts up to 10, They'll be starting with level A. 
even if they've already completed a kindergarten math program. The books look nice, although not colorful like some of the other books on our list. The lessons are nicely scripted for the parents, so it should be simple to teach even if you're not a math whiz. I think if you're just starting out, this would be a great homeschool math curriculum to use for the elementary school years. I just don't know if it would be good to switch to if you've already started with something else. Next on our list is another spiral learning math curriculum called Horizons. And this is actually what we started with when we first started homeschooling my older daughter. There is no particular reason for it. I was new to homeschooling and I bought a bundle and this is just what I picked. Horizons comes with a teacher's guide to help you teach the lessons along with student workbooks. One thing I did like about the workbooks is they were very colorful and there were a lot of different activities to do so it didn't get boring. The repetition of concepts did get a little tiresome though, especially once my daughter knew how to do something. So I did end up letting her skip over a lot of it once she had a concept down. While I don't remember there being any religious references in it, this is from a Christian curriculum company, so there could be mentions of God or the Bible in it. So if you're looking for a strictly non-religious curriculum, this may not be a good choice. But if your child needs a lot of practice and repetition, then this might work out well for you. You can review the scope and sequence of each grade level on their website to help you decide where to start. If you're looking for an affordable elementary homeschool math curriculum, you might want to try Evan Moore. You can get a full grade level math curriculum set for just $42.73, which is a really great price. You'll get a teacher's edition and student book of daily math practice as well as their Math Fundamentals Teacher's Resource to help you teach new concepts. If you're not sure which level to start with, you can check out the scope and sequence if you view the sample pages of the books on their website. And looking at the samples here, you know I'm going to say that I wish they were in color, but I still really do like the way the Evan Moore workbooks look. At least there are some pictures to make it interesting rather than just pages of numbers that can really make a younger kid just dread doing math. This is another spiral math curriculum, so your kids will get to revisit skills that they've already learned to help keep their skills sharp. So if you're looking for a straightforward, simple spiral math curriculum that's also very affordable, this might be the right one for you. If you're looking for a simple and fun open and go math curriculum for your elementary student, you might want to try math with confidence. This is another spiral math curriculum that has kids continually revisit topics to make sure that they really grasp the concepts. But it can also be considered a mastery program because it focuses on one topic at a time and each new lesson builds on the previous ones. It's fully scripted and it includes some fun games and hands-on activities. But it won't break the bank with a huge pack of manipulatives like some of the other math curriculums on our list. The Math with Confidence curriculum includes an instructor's guide for you to use to teach the math lessons, as well as a student workbook. The workbook pages are very colorful, which I love, and they include some fun activities so they're not boring for younger kids. They're also really affordable. You can get a full year with both the student and teacher guides for around $45 on Amazon. So that's definitely a plus. If you're not sure which level to start with, they do have a guide on their website that should help you to choose the right one. And finally, last on our list is a homeschool math curriculum that is supposed to be especially good for gifted students called Beast Academy. If you've heard of the Beast Academy online math program, or maybe even seen my review on my YouTube channel, then you know that it's a great program. But in this video, we're just talking about the print curriculum for which they offer a curriculum for kids ages six to 13. Beast Academy is really interesting because it uses comic books to teach the math concepts. So that's where the actual math instruction is from. There isn't any kind of teacher instruction manual, just the comic books to read and then practice workbooks to do. But you could certainly pair it with the online program, which does include instructional videos. 
The Beast Academy math curriculum is definitely designed to give kids more than just a basic understanding of math. There is a big focus on problem solving and critical thinking and not as much focus on memorization and drills. I've heard the curriculum is very challenging and is especially good for kids who already like math, but it might not be the best choice for kids who struggle with math or for parents who need some more support in teaching math to their kids. So that is our list of 10 homeschool math curriculum picks for elementary school. There are some really great options here. If I had it to do all over, I think I might have chosen Right Start Math. Of all the math curriculum options on our list, I do really like their approach a lot and I think it would have been great. But I am still really happy with Dimensions and I have no plans to switch anytime soon. My twins are doing really well with it so far and my older daughter doesn't hate it, which is saying a lot coming from her. If you have any questions on any of these math curriculums, please let me know in the comments and I will be happy to answer. And if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please consider taking a moment to leave me a comment or give the video a like. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching.